Welcome all you amazing, wonderful trail monsters. And thank you for joining me today. And I know it's been about five or six weeks since we last posted a video here. And I don't like going that long between each video, but hey, life happens sometimes. I think you know that, I think you understand. So thank you for giving me the opportunity to try to entertain you for a little bit today with us out there on the trail doing some desert riding and we are back up on Mount Lemmon. Hey, and I know we've done a lot of Mount Lemmon videos before, but you really wanna check this one out because it's a little bit different like you've seen on this channel before because we have the drone up and flying, taking some amazing aerial shots, some panoramic views with the scenery. It really adds to the video, so go grab a snack, sit back and relax. Hit that like button right now because it's taken me like 15 plus hours to edit this video, so I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> Who do we have here? <laughs> What's up, brother? Hey, man. What's going on? How's it going? <laughs> hey, I have an idea. What's that? What's that? Let's go for a ride. Let's go for a ride. And go for a ride we did. Here we are hiking up the first of two hiker bikes on Bug Springs Trail. And this is not normally something you would see in most videos, but here it is. You start at about 5,800 feet at the parking area and you climb up to about 6,100 feet before you top out. And it's about a quarter mile to a half mile long hike up and it takes about 15 or 20 minutes depending on your fitness level. And here's where you top out. A quick trip to the hoodoo. <laughs> eh, 15, 15 seconds. I will see how long the clip is. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna say it's closer to 15 seconds than five. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, you got that. <laughs> that's that's imperative for the ride, man. It is, it is. It's not gonna work that way. Yeah, yeah. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. Bomb down the first section after the hike a bike. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, you recording now or? Oh, okay. So, it's all good. Okay, cool. I don't know about all good, but I'm recording. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> what the heck happened? Alright, so check it out. Here I am with my buddy Carlos, aka Two Wheels, about three days prior to the ride we're actually doing today, and he crashed in the same spot right here. Whoa, whoa. Cool, cool through here. Nice little jump right here. This is a cool, unique section of the trail, riding in this wooded area compared to usually just riding out in the desert. Root coming up. Here we are heading towards the infamous waterfall. We're getting ready to bust out the drone to get some epic aerial footage of us going down it. All right, coming up to the waterfall. And here we are again, once again, with Carlos three days prior, showing you what a crash looks like when you go down this thing. This was actually his second crash of the day on this feature. Oh. 
ô all right here's this left once you reach here baby waterfall Chris has gotten pretty good at this feature over time, but it still takes a lot of concentration and focus. And by the way, Carlos can usually make this feature as well. Nice, nice, nice. There we go. There we go. I was happy to clear this feature again the last couple rides I skipped it, but as you can see, <laughs> I'm capable of clearing it. Boy! <laughs> Here we are climbing up to the famous Hoodoo's calming resting spot and also a spot to get cell phone service once again. So here's another interesting spot, riding by these smaller hoodoos, I've always wanted to get some aerial footage of these things because they look so cool and so unique and I've always enjoyed riding by them and just kind of taking in the scenery and you can because it's flat right here so you have time to take it all in. Okay, right here we're getting ready to come up to what I call the Gnarly Rock Garden. One of the main features of this trail, uh, along with the waterfall, it's a waterfall type S feature. And this particular feature is my old nemesis. I've crashed many times on that particular feature, and as well as Carlos. Uh, we could probably make a whole crash compilation video <laughs> from us crashing on this feature coming up. And, Somehow, Chris uh, seems to get through it pretty good these days. He gets through it pretty unscathed, but there's a lot of days I just decide to skip it. And today was one of those days I was getting kind of tired right here, so I did skip it, but Chris, you'll see Chris do it. <laughs> Chris actually had a couple run-up attempts before he actually makes it right here because the last monsoon rain actually changed the line since he was last here.
Okay, as you can see, I was changing the position of the drone there. I was worried about the hill to my left there and the drone maybe running into a tree. And that's actually one of the reasons that I'm riding a little bit slower right here. And yes, nobody is going to mistake me for like a neat hills uh, riding at speed, but I can ride slightly faster than this. Uh, I'm just worried about the drone running into obstacles. So if you ride a little bit slower, it gives the chance for the drone to avoid like trees right here and so i do need to fly it higher so it does avoid the trees because man after watching this footage right now it kind of gave me a heart attack that the drone almost ran into some of these trees but it did a good job of avoiding all the obstacles for the most part well actually it didn't crash so it did, it did its job <laughs> How are we doing? Uh... All right, we ended up meeting up with another rider right here. His name is Will, and he tagged along on the ride with us. But he is just so fast that you actually won't see him in the video that much, just because he's just so much faster than I am. And but you will see him from time to time. He's just way in front of me, and. He just didn't need the rest uh, like we do at the top of these like punchy climbs. But to his credit, he always ended up waiting for us at some point. And as you can hear right now, there's no trail sounds, but those trail sounds will come right back here in just a second. But I wanted to get this part of the video in because man, look at these views. Absolutely amazing. And we have the Catalina Highway right there, down there that we're, we're heading toward. So man, I, I just wanted to show this part of the video. Here comes the trail sounds. Hey, if you made it to this part of the video, thank you so much for joining me. And if you would, maybe do me one more solid and hit that like button. I really appreciate it. And please, go check out my buddies here. Carlos Two Wheels and Chris from Black Bites. Go check out their channels. Great guys. They got great YouTube channels. So go check them out. And if you ever want to ride this trail or want some information about it, hit me up in the comments below. Maybe we can get a shuttle ride going. Thank you so much again for watching this Bug Springs video. Man, I about nearly lost my insanity making this video because it's taken me nearly 25 hours to edit this thing. My goal is to make one of the best Bug Springs videos out there. And I'm not up there quite with uh, the likes of Eric BCPOV, but hey, that's the goal to try to make those type of videos. And even all around the Tucson and Arizona and wherever we ride area. So thanks again, and we will see you in the next video.